to the digit in the rounding place if the digit to its right is 5 or greater than greater than 5 then drop all digits after rounding after the rounding place and if the digit to the right is 4 or less than 4 retain the number to be rounded then drop all digits after the rounding place so, para malinaw yan, i-apply natin. Pero, we still need to review the place value of decimal numbers. Baka kasi nalilinig ka na. Now, let's have an example of a decimal number. Let's have an example. Um, let's uh, try this one. Uh -huh. 1 in 2,345 ten thousands. So, pag isinulat natin yan is 1 in 2,000 2,000 Ayan, nasulat nyo 2,300 Forty five ten thousands. So this is our given one and two thousand three hundred forty five ten thousand. So in decimal point it is read as in. Now, let's review the place value. So, since ito, whole number, whole number siya, ang place value niya is ones. Siya yung ones digit. And after the decimal are the decimal digits. The place value of two, the place value of two is tens. Place a value of 3 is hundreds. Ah, bakit ang sulat ni ma'am? And the place a value of 4 is thousands. And the place a value of 5 is Ten thousands. Again, now let's review the place value of decimal number. So, the, this is the decimal point. After the decimal point are the decimal numbers. To the right of the decimal point is the decimal numbers. So, the first place value is tens the second place value is hundreds the third place value is thousands and the fourth place value is the ten ten thousands so kung mapapansin nyo pag decimal numbers ang place value nya ay may th or ths sa dulo Kapag whole number, by S lang. Ano? So, here is how to recall the place value of the decimal number. So, kapag isinulat natin siya, in two words, ang last place value na 10,000 ay mag-a-appear sa dulo kapag isinulat natin siya in two words. So, inilalagay yung last place value ng decimal sa dulo kapag isinusulat natin siya in words when writing it in words. Now, 
So that is for the place value of decimal. Kasi dapat alam nyo to, kapag mag-round, there are directions that we need to follow what digit to be rounded. Alright? What should be rounded nakalagay sa direction. So kung hindi nyo alam yung place value ng mga decimal numbers, hindi nyo siya mairaround ng tama. Now, let's go to the next slide. Mm, let's practice rounding to the nearest tenths. So, we have here the given. The given is 7,268 thousands. So, kapag yung decimal numbers ay 4 digit that is 10 thousands again this is 7268 10 thousands and the direction tells us to round to the nearest tenths alin ba ang tenths natin dito now the place value of 7 is the tenths so ibig sabihin dito natin siya Ira round. Ayan. Kapag ganitong rounding up, lagyan nyo ng tanda yung digit na ira round nyo. And then, look for the number to the right. If the number to the right is 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, that is round up. Add 1. To the digit to be rounded and then drop all the digits or change all the digits the remaining digits into zero so now dahil 7 ang ira-round at ang katabi niya ay 2 kapag naman ang katabi niya ay 4 3 2 1 and 0 that means round down meaning you are going to retain the digit to be rounded. Ayan. Dahil 2 ang katabi ni 7, 2 is the number to the right of 7. That means it is round down. Retain the digit. Alin ba yung i-retain? Ire yung 7. So, kopyahin natin to. This will become 0. Kopyahin yung 0. And then, dial round down, 7 pa rin siya. Still 7. And then, you are going to drop all the digits. 2, 6, 8 will become 0, 0, 0. Or, pwede mo na siyang alisin. Pwede na siyang maging 0, 0.7 or this is what we call 7 tenths. 7 tenths na siya. Ulitin natin, ha? Since 2 is the number to the right of 7, sabi dito kapag 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0, it is round down. Retain the digit to be rounded. Ang ira-round ay 7, ang katabi ay 2, so i-retain. Hindi mo babaguhin. At lahat ng digit na nasa likod ng 7 ay magiging 0. O pwede mo na alisin. Therefore, the answer is 7 points. Now, let's go to the next page. Next example. Round to the nearest tenths also. Now, the given here is 4 and we have the given 4 and 3,200 68 10,000 
up. 68, 10, thousands. So, i-change ko siya into word para ma-recall nyo rin. Now, we have 4 and 3,268, 10,000. Round to the nearest tenths. So, syempre, ang tenths, that is the first digit after the decimal number. And that is 3. And now, look for the number to the right of 3. Alin ang nasa right ng 3? That is 2. So, again, ang basis natin, kapag 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 ang katabi, that is round up. And kapag ang katabi ay 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, that is round down. So, 3, ang ira-round, ang katabi niya ay 2. So, this is round down. Now, kukopyahin mo muna yung mga digit, which is 4. And, yung decimal, 3, ang katabi 2, round down, hindi mababago si 3. And all the remaining digits will become 0, 0, 0. That is 2, 6, 8. Or, we have 4 and 3 tenths. That is 4 and 3 tenths. So now, that is the answer for this example. Let's have the second example, the, the third example. Round to the nearest tenths again. So here, which is our tenth here, tenths here. The tenths here is zero. So we have one and 268 ten thousands here. Now, 0 ang ira-round, ang katabi pa rin ay 2. Is it round up or round down? It is round down. Now, let's copy the first digit, which is 1. The decimal is, we have here the decimal. Then, round down, hindi mababago si 0. Ang mababago ay si 2, 6, 8, magiging 0, 0, 0, or 1. Pwede mo nang alisin ito. Huwag mo na isasama si decimal kasi full number na siya. And now, let's have the next example. Round to the nearest hundreds naman tayo. We have here 4 and 7,268 ten thousands. So, ira-round daw natin sa hundreds. Ang 7 tenths. Ano na hundreds? Ito ang hundreds. Reds. So, 2. 2 ang kira-round natin. And then, let's look for the digit to the right, which is 6. So, kapag ang katabi mo ay, if the number to the right of the digit to be rounded is 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, it is round up. When you say round up, add 1 to the digit to be rounded. And then, kopyahin mo muna si 4, si decimal number, si 7, and then 2, round up, magiging 2 plus 1 becomes 3. And then, yung 6 at 8 will become 0, 0. Or drop off, pwede mong alisin. Or 4 and 73 hundredths. So, it is read as 4 and 73 hundredths. So, 
So, ayan po kung paano i-round into the nearest hundreds. Now, let's have another example. Round to the nearest hundreds again. We have 5 and 1,248. We have 5 and 1,248. Now, round to the nearest hundreds. 2 is our hundreds. Ito yung ira-round mo, 2. Ang katabi niya ay 4. The number to the right is 4. So, it is round down. So, kopyain muna natin itong mga to. We have 5 point or decimal point 1. Dahil round down, hindi mababago si 2. Si 4 at 8 will become 0, 0. Or 5 and 12 hundreds. So, that is the answer. 5 and 12 hundreds. Now, let's have another example. Round to the nearest thousands. We have 5 and 3,448 ten thousands. Ang era-round. So, we have here 5 Let's round to the nearest thousands. We have here 5 and 3,448 ten thousands. So here, hanapin natin yung thousands place of value. This is this is tens, this is tens, this is hundreds. So this is thousands. So, kopyahin mo na muna itong 5.34. Ito ang ira-round natin. Ang katabi niya is 8. So, kapag 8 yung katabi, it is round up. So, magiging 4 plus 1 will become 5 at ang 8 will become 0. Or, drop the 0, we have 5 and 345 thousands. Now, let's have the next example. The next example is 5,000 and, sorry, the next example is 5 and 3,441 ten thousands. Round to the nearest thousands pa rin. So, ito ang era round mo, 4. And the number to the right is 1. So, kapag 1, it should be round down. Hindi mo babaguhin yung digit na era round. So, kopyahin natin si 5.34. Ito ay round down. Hindi mababago. 1 will become 0. Or drop the 0. We have 5 and 300. 44,000. So, that is the answer. Now, let's have another example. Round to the nearest thousands. So, we have here 5 We have here 5 and 344 thousands. Kung paano i-round yan, wala namang nakalagay na number. So, ang imaginary nan is zero. So, kung i-round mo siya, zero, retain pa rin siya. Ang magiging sagot pa rin is 5 and 344 thousands pa rin. So, walang pagbabago. Now, Music